Hi guys, today I'm going to show you another trick or an exploit. Using this exploit or trick, whatever you want to call it, uh, you can get basically infinite guns. Now, one very important thing, in order to do this exploit, you need to have a Together for Victory DLC, or else you can't do it. If you don't have it, then you can't do this, sadly. So, let's get into the video. We'll be exploiting one game feature that's uh, brought in the game by Together for Victory DLC, and that's uh, this option, Request Land Lease. To request Land Lease, we must be at war. It doesn't specify which war, which type of war, offensive or defensive or civil war, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go with civil war. We start, I'm playing as Iran and we start online, so I'm gonna go fascist through civil war. So let's do the things uh, you would usually do. Political effort, then I'm gonna do collective status, industry effort, and then I'm going to uh, start a civil war. So let's go. Also, one very important thing that uh, I must say, this exploit works the best for the countries that are located in mainland Europe, mainland Asia, and mainland Africa. If the country is uh, an island nation, like Indonesia or Philippines or Japan, but you don't really need to do this as Japan, or maybe Australia, or if it's in the Americas, then uh, you're gonna have some issues. You're gonna need a lot of convoys to pull this off, so keep that in mind. Let's go with Collective Setters. Hire the fascist demagogue. Industrial effort is next. Okay, I'm ready for Civil War. Let's delete my army. Already started doing construction effort. And uh, let's do anti fascist raids. Now stability is low enough and ignite the Civil War. Now, as you can see, the option to start on lease is on. So, next thing you want to do is to know which country you should uh, request land lease from. The best uh, countries to request land lease from are the major countries. Keep in mind that democratic nations will basically never give you land lease, and as for the non-aligned countries, they need a very high world tension in order to give you land lease. So you want communist or fascist country. In case you're uh, playing country in Latin America, you can ask, uh, for example, El Salvador, Venezuela or Peru, or you can ask some European countries. Next thing you want to make sure is that that country is connected to you by land. As so you can see here, I have connection with Soviet Union here and here, which means uh, I have connection through Poland to Germany and again through Austria to Italy. Meanwhile, Japan, I don't have connection to their capital, despite me having connection with Korea. Their capital is here, and uh, I need convoys to get land lease from them. So that option is off. We can't ask them. So we let, uh, let down to a couple of countries. We let down to Soviet Union, Tantua, Mongolia, Communist China, Xinjiang, German Reich, and Italy. And then eventually National Spain when they uh, turn fascist, and later in game Vichy France, Hungary, Romania, and such countries. So the best countries to ask land lease from right now are the Soviet Union, German Reich, and Italy. Mongolia and Tantua are also good, but they're just gonna give you about 400 guns a month, which is sometimes not enough. However, Germany will not give you land lease until at least early 1938, and the same thing goes for Soviet Union. They, uh, they even won't give you land lease until 1939, so Italy is the best target for this. Now, in order to request land lease, uh, you have this condition as you can see. It's minus 1020. Italy has inefficient equipment, or we have too much equipment to in stockpile. So, what you're gonna make sure to do is uh, that you have negative equipment. So how do you do this? You basically train a bunch of divisions. You don't need manpower for this. What you can actually do now is uh, create an empty template or just one battalion template with, let's say, cavalry. And now we can train a bunch of it. Then we deploy them, and when we deploy them, we switch them to a way larger template like this one. That way we will be in the constant negative of guns. So now, if, when you check the conditions, they say minus 20. Uh, positive 5, Italian opinion of the new Persian Empire, and there's also base reluctance. So how do you counter this? You need to improve relations with them. This works even if you're not fascist, even if you're democratic or communist. Uh, Italy will always give you guns, pretty much. However, you need to improve relations. But, if you're fascist, you don't have to improve relations. What you can do is ask for military access. Wait for 24 hours. Do an aggression pact with them. If, but if you don't, if you want to attack them, for example, then don't do an aggression pact. Obviously, then just improve relations regularly. And wait another 24 or so hours. And now, 
you have 45 opinion they need to have 45 opinion of you to give you land lease that's a minimal requirement and as you can see now Italian opinion of the European Persian Empire they're willing to send you guns and if you ask them they're gonna send you guns uh, for the start they're gonna give you about 1.2k 1.3k 1.5k guns and then it's going to turn into two three four five thousand eventually they're, they're gonna be giving you ten thousand guns a month if you ask them to now all you think only thing you must make sure to do is to ask them again and again and again each month uh, now they're going to give me 1294 guns after a month and after a month they they for some reason don't give you 1% of your guns or 0.1% I'm not sure so they'll be giving you 1.29 more guns so you gotta make sure you cancel and then ask them again it's very important that you have enough manpower but if you don't have it, you can already do the thing I just did. Just uh, create tons of divisions which are one battalion and also put them on top priority so that they can get the guns. So let's see how many days are left. Five days. It's it's uh, the best method for me is to ask them for one lease at the very beginning of the month. So every time the game auto saves, if you're not playing in Iron Man, then you remember to actually ask them again. As you can see now, uh, we have minus 11.6k guns and when they arrive, minus 10.3k, which means guns just arrived now. Modify incoming at least it's only 13 guns a month, so click clear all and then once again request land lease and once again they're gonna give you 1159. Most of the times it's going to be trash guns, but trust trust me, trash guns are good. Two more days, and once again, as you can see, minus 10.3k guns and 9.1. Once again, request land lease and this time only 680 guns, but trust me, they will grow up their industry and they'll eventually give you more and more guns. Now I have 14 divisions, they're all one battalion, but still, that's 14,000 fully armed men. It's very important that you can protect these corridors. For example, if I lose this province here and this province here, and then if I lose this province here, then I'm completely cut off from the Soviet Union and from the rest of the world, and uh, then I can't get the guns from Italy pretty much at all. There is no legal supply route, as the game says. Just make sure you don't end the war. You must stay in this state of war, or you, or else you won't be able to ask for land lease again. And if you're not satisfied with this, you can check other countries. For example, see what Germany thinks about it. If it says minus twenty negative, then you can improve relations and ask them. If it's like minus one thousand, then don't bother. They won't give you guns. You can see Soviet Union won't give me guns because they're training troops. But Germany will if I improve relations and they don't start training any new troops. But trust me, Italy is a safe bet. Always go for Italy first. Alright, you got plus uh, the Germany likes us now, so let's ask them for guns. You can see, sadly, they start to train new troops. That's why it, Germany is unstable for this. They will start training troops over and over again, and they often won't give you many guns. You can use this exploit to build a massive army, while in the back you produce your own artillery or your own cast. Then you can use that massive army to massively expand, yeah. For example, if you play around, you can easily take over Iraq. You can easily take over Turkey, actually. But eventually, when the Hungary does the, renounces the Treaty of Trion and when they switch fascists, ask them. Uh, the thing with them is they have solid industry, as you can see. They have some 25, no, they actually have only 14 factories, but by the time they do it, they're gonna have solid industry. They did some focuses and they produce guns and other equipment. But they don't have manpower at all, so they have nothing to do with it, so. They give you lots of guns. Or if you feel brave, what you can also do is uh, raise the war of tension by yourself. Right now I'm going to raise war of tension by... Justifying it so it against the uh, USA. As you can see now, war of tension is 65%. How about you send me some guns, Hungary? See, they're willing to send me guns. How much do I have of negative guns? 7.5... 7.4k, so Hungary, guns, please. 2,000 guns, just like that. Alright, let's increase the deficit, let's put some more units into training, let's deploy these guys. Now I have minus 12k again. Italy, would you mind giving me some more guns, please? Nope. I guess they don't have any guns. Hungary giving me more guns than Italy. Friendship with Italy ended. Hungary is now my best friend. You can ask for other equipment too. Uh, the best equipment you can ask for is uh, uh, support equipment. They're gonna give you support equipment most of the times, both Germany and Italy, anti-air as well, 
as well as artillery. However, they're not very likely to give entire and artillery away. As for support equipment, most likely they will give it away. But you have to research it. So now I can't ask them for support artillery because it's not researched. I need to research it and then uh, I can ask them for that. But once again, you need to create lots of divisions with support companies. Only then they're going to give you support equipment. As you can see, now I have 45 divisions, all with 1,000 men each. So 45,000 men are armed. That's 4.5 kingdoms, right? And tons of them are in training too, as you can see. This is another reason why you should always get, switch the ideology by civil war. It's simply the better way. You can get more factories, you can get more guns, you can do it faster, it's just better than referendum. Unless you have like 100% stability, then it, it's pain to rebuild it, but sometimes you have to pay the price. Uh, for Hungary uh, as well, while it's still not mine, you can ask them for military access and non-aggression pact, and they're always going to accept. For some reason, when you when they switch to fascism, then they no longer accept it, which makes no sense. But yeah, that's how it works. I got 69 divisions. You can see now I have negative 4.9k guns, so let's switch all these guys to this, and now I got negative 46k guns. I can now unleash China when the Chinese war happens, so if Japan loses, if I want Japan to lose, for example. Just don't end the civil war. Keep it in the stalemate where you're actually going to win, just let them exist in one city or something. Once again, this doesn't work for countries which have only one state, which is again sad, but hey, what can you do? Alright, so the civil war is about to end, let's not end it, let's just stop taking land. Whenever I want to pull the switch and end the civil war, all I gotta do is take this town and this town and the civil war is over. You can also use this to cripple other countries, for example if you're playing Yugoslavia and you want to kill Italy, you can go to civil war or maybe fight uh, some random country like Hungary. And basically ask for land lease from Italy constantly, that way weakening their army and then when you eventually fight Italy, they are weaker because they didn't recruit as many troops as they usually would. And you are also stronger because you got a bunch of free guns. No, I took the city. Rip. The end of civil war. <laughs> as you can see now, when I delete my entire army, I had about 1000 guns I believe, and now I have 14,000. So I got like 13,000 guns for free. Uh, if I waited more, if I waited until 938, maybe 939, Italy will start giving me about 1.5 thousand guns, 2,000 guns a month, constantly. I, AI is really stupid about this. Uh, once I managed to get to land lease from National Spain, while we're, st we're still in the Civil War. They're fighting a Civil War, but they don't care, they're gonna give you guns anyway. That's, it's really stupid, trust me. Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful, and yeah, see ya.